I am Melek and I am from Jordan in Al-Aqsa Integrated School in Malaysia. And today my topic is going to be about making the world a better place in terms of discrimination and intolerance. Now the world right now is facing various human rights violations and one as we know of is discrimination. Discrimination is the unjust behavior towards an individual or a group of people because of particular characteristics, such as their race, their religion, or their class, or sometimes even their gender. Now, discrimination usually stems from childhood ignorance caused by parental negligence or biased teachings. It could also be a result of observing how the community or environmental system works. From there, wrong impressions and fearful emotions grow thus leading to multiple prejudiced actions. In our world, discrimination is becoming apparent and unfortunately many people are dealing with it on a daily basis. Various countries are now enforcing laws and policies that discriminate against certain ethnic groups or religions. An example of that is a law in France that bans Muslim ladies under the age of 18 from wearing the headscarf, which to them is a mandatory form of worship and it's not optional. Other kinds of dis discrimination are not as direct, yet, can be, can, yet they can put one at a disadvantage, such as the law that requires people to provide proof of a certain level of education to be able to vote, which is not possible for some ethnic groups or women. The most common form of discrimination has been labeled as microaggression, and it usually involves intentional poor service at shops or restaurants. Less uh, or less respect or courtesy at workplaces or schools and even more violent acts such as hate crimes, which can all be due to the intolerance toward that person or that certain group. According to a 2015 American survey study, people who experience discrimination or are more prone to experiencing discrimination have a higher rate of stress levels as compared to people who do not experience these situations. Not only that, but people who are likely to encounter discrimination often avoid places where they think they might experience it. These places may be schools, work offices, or social events, and naturally with time, a person may develop insecurities that revolve around the dislike of their own culture, religion, or race, and may start wanting to fit in what's considered as normal and approved. It can also lead them to believe they are less important and worthy than other people. Discrimination is an issue that's been acquiring attention, and we can see that through the protests happening all over the world. But as of now, there is no visible solution. That's because hatred and ignorance, along with feelings of superiority, are deep-rooted in many people. However, just because we can see a solution now, doesn't mean there isn't one. One of the ways we can be able to get rid of discrimination is by embracing our differences as humans. That's in terms of our culture, our skin color, our ethnicities, religions, and so on. After learning to accept ourselves, we can then educate people about these topics and show them the beauty of human diversity. As a result of that, supremacy won't be a thing and everyone will be able to have equal rights, thus leading to stronger generations and, of course, a better world. Thank you for listening.